grandfather was arrested, taken to jail, and raped in jail for a crime that he did not commit in Harris County. Now he is suing the parent companies of the Sunglasses Hut and Macy's. On January 22, 2022, this Sunglass Hut on West Gray in Houston was robbed by with the help of Macy's, used facial recognition software to pin down 61-year-old Harvey Eugene Murphy Jr. as the alleged suspect. Murphy's attorneys say that he's from Houston, but was in California at the time of the alleged crime. He would move back to Houston, and in October of 2023, that's when his life changed. He goes to the DMV to get his driver's license renewed. And the police officer comes from around the counter and puts handcuffs on him and arrests him in a few hours. Uh, while he was being held in jail, he was going to use the restroom. He was beaten, sexually assaulted, raped. Was eventually released and the case was dropped. But the scars from the event, as you can imagine, remain. Coming up at 10, anchor Anthony Antoine sat down with the victim's attorney, but we also look at the fault, faulty facial recognition, how it can be that way, especially for African Americans and older adults. Why do you look so sad, Fuego? I have a lot of my plate, man. Enjoying the club, nigga, but, um, Fuego, what's up, man, bro? Bro, what's happening, man? Somebody's hacking into my computer. What you mean, like spy alert? Yeah, and more. They doctored some footage of me doing something I didn't even do, man. And now they're trying to threaten to send it to the police. What you think they want? What the fuck? It never even happened. So, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when technology gets into the wrong hands. And unfortunately, technology has been advanced and more than likely created by millionaires, more likely billionaires, more than likely billionaires, millionaires, billionaires, um, e evil people, the elites. It all goes back to Skull and Bones of Yale University. They, that's where the CIA came out of. You know, George Bush went there, Obama did a year there, and other um, judges, politicians, I've said this in plenty of other videos, but that's where it all started. It all started, 1960, around that era, and they have year, they have, they've had years to, you know, build their funds, build their knowledge, build their connections, and that's what Freemasonry, um, these sororities, that's what they're based on. They're based on building connections. So when they, when they say being a man of virtue, and being virtuous, you're making connections with others, uh, like-minded others. The more connections built, other Freemasons, meaning other Freemasons, coming together, having these secret me meetings, talking about what laws are going to be passed. They always knew technology would advance. They knew for a while. And now here we have artificial intelligence. And if you're wondering, why why did you show the clip, the Tyler Perry clip? Because that was from one of Tyler Perry's shows, if you didn't know, his show called All the Queen's Men. Tyler Perry is a puppet and he works for the elites. Why do you think all these millionaires and certain celebrities are starting to build these underground bunkers? They know, they know something is coming. Tyler Perry is a Freemason. He, he's amongst the circles. He's amongst the puppets. He knows. See, a lot of TV shows, they put stuff that's actually going on in the real, real world and going to happen in the real world. I also watched Chicago PD. Chicago PD, um, recent episode was about immigrants. You know, they do this stuff on purpose. So again, when technology gets in the wrong hands and when it has been in the wrong hands, this is what happened. You have a grandfather, an elderly, innocent man being accused of theft and they used artificial intelligence to, to, to assume it was him and it wasn't even him. Why would the cops arrest him? Why would the cops not do their own investigation and just go along with it? This is scary, ladies and gentlemen. This is an extremely scary situation and this is what the world has come to. Everybody's talking about the, um, 
uh, what they're doing in schools and the, and the attack on children. Yes, there is a, a huge attack on children, but there is a bigger attack on humanity itself in general. When you have innocent people being locked up based on artificial intelligence, that is extremely scary. Extremely scary. A grandfather at that? They, they said he was what, 60 years old, 60, 61 years old? He has to deal with this for the rest of his life. No amount of money could change what, he, what he's been through. He's going to have serious PTSD, nightmares, paranoia, probably schizophrenia. And he's suing for $10 million. $10 million is not enough. He's not even suing the police department. I would sue the police department because they didn't do, do their due diligence and, and, and do their own separate investigation, find out where he was, get an alibi, when the, when the robberies happened to make sure it was actually him. I would sue the police department till I, until they're out of business, until they have to close down. So that police department has to shut down. I would sue Macy's until they can't be Macy's no more. They got to shut down. $10 million is not enough. And again, money can't change the situation. Fix what he's been through, but you gotta you gotta hit him where it hurts. Again, ten million is super low. They ruined this man's life. This man was sexually assaulted. Who knows if the people that assaulted him had AIDS or, or whatever else? Very sad. Very messed up. Share this video. That's why my goal my goal is to make to make my house to the point where it is. I don't want to go anywhere unless I'm going on vacation, out of the country. Got my weight equipment downstairs, all my sneakers, my, my recording equipment, my gaming setup. I don't really play games, but I have it in case I, I need it, in case I want to use it. I plan on getting a sauna put in my basement soon, finishing my basement, and whatever else. Trying to make it so I'm comfortable at home, to where I don't want to just be going out all the time. Because look what can happen. Very, very scary situation, ladies and gentlemen. This is nothing to play with. There's nothing to joke about. This is nothing to take lightly. It could have been your grandfather. What if it was your grandfather? How would you feel every time you got to go visit him? You got to see the condition and state he's in mentally and emotionally. At, at, at 60 some years old, almost the retirement age for some people, you're supposed to be enjoying the rest of your years. You don't worked. Whatever you did, build your 401k. You're supposed to be retiring, enjoying your life, spending time with your grandkids, having a great time. Not getting locked up for something you didn't do and getting sexually assaulted by other men. Come on, man. This is far from the American dream. The justice system sucks. It really does. And I feel like no matter how many good people we have try to change things, nothing can be changed about it because the elites are at the top. The elites are controlling everything. How many innocent men we done seen that had to bring their case all the way to the Supreme Court? Kept getting denied for their appeal. And more than likely the prosecutors, the police officers, they know they're innocent. Judges just keep denying it. The justice system is so unfair. We have thousands of black men innocently locked up, innocent, that are still locked up to this day, dealing with being sexually assaulted, beat up, their commissary taken from them, just being treated like straight up slaves, being a part of the system when they shouldn't even have been a part of the system in the first place. They may have, they've had families, you know, uh, children, close friends, and some of those people don't turn on them. They done missed so many birthdays. Other people done passed away in their family. They didn't get to attend the funeral or, or say their goodbyes. And they're locked up innocently. And the reason why I say black is because, did you hear the news clip? The lady said that the, that this, this certain system that they're using to uh, catch people with stealing whatever crime, it it's easier to use for black men. That is messed up. That is extremely messed up. Melanated people are still going through slavery. Melanated men are still dealing with slavery. That is a form of slavery. How are you going to come up with something that specifically works when it comes to catching melanated people and crimes? Framing them. How are you going to come up with something that can frame melanated men specifically for them? 
doesn't really affect Caucasian, doesn't really affect Hispanic, but when it comes to black men, oh, using this artificial intelligence to, to, to catch criminals, oh, this works really good with black men. It's really messed up, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you watched the beginning of both uh, the news clip and the uh, video from the show. But yeah, I feel like this really needs to be talked about. And um, I hope this opens a lot of people's eyes and realize that um, not for nothing, certain states too, certain states, melanated people should not be living in. Mississippi. Mississippi is one state that melanated, the South in general. You're a melanated person, you need to, you need to come, come up north. Get out of the South. It's not meant for you. All right, I'll catch you on the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below. Please, please comment down below. Please hit the like button, share, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. Too many people are viewing my videos and not subscribing. If you clicked on a video, you were interested in what I was talking about. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love.